Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, I went ahead and slept through the whole winter so that now our grass is ready to harvest. I'll go do that. Um, it's only in the first harvest stage, but I want to harvest it today because I want to turn it into silage and use the proceeds to buy the field next to our field. Uh, this one, 197. Because 197 is withered, but it has soybeans in it right now. It's 44,243. We have $38,886. But I'd like to buy that field, and then I'm hoping I have enough money to buy, if not lease, a planter, and we'll plant corn in that field. Because we have a corn header already, and I think it would be fun to do corn. So I'll go get this harvested and baled and wrapped quick and then we'll skip to tomorrow so we can sell it and hopefully we can move on with the rest of what we want to do here. I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, that was unfortunate. Uh, during that save, my game froze and crashed, and I lost my whole save file. But I have recreated it the best I think I could. Um, got back the harvester. Those are definitely the heads in the trailer we had. This is the same tractor, except for this one's new, so it doesn't have the hours on it which I'm fine with. Oh, look, I didn't collect the little guys. New collectibles. Okay. So I built the workshop there again. This is, like I said, the same tractor, except new. And I just left it the standard black that it comes in. Uh, I got the three bales of silage. I think all of the same equipment. I don't think I'm missing anything other than a little um, spreader that I was using for lime. I did change to a different roller. This one is cheaper than the roller that we had, and I think this one will do grass and after seeding. So that would have been a good move to do anyway, and we could have done. I got that back, and then I got back uh the main field and then those three fields plowed them together turned them into grass 
So we have wheat here, we have grass there. I think they're in the right stages where they're supposed to be. That did, however, change what was planted around us since it's a new save. Um, yes, but I think that's that. This should still be grass because I just got it. Is it fermenting? Come on, get so I can see you, please. There we go. Yeah, they're 0% fermented right now. Uh, yeah, that's it. I think I had some fertilizer or seeds or something, but that's fine. We'll get that stuff as we need it. We have several thousand more. What was it? $10,000 I just got from those um, collectibles we had already gotten. So well, we're better off than we were. But let's hope that doesn't happen again. Uh, in the spirit of that, what is growing in this field over here? 193. Not sunflowers. Wheat. So th oop, that wheat there is harvestable. And is the next one that I wanted to buy. And I think that's only like 26,000. Yeah, 26,064. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. We'll harvest it. And then we'll uh, combine it with our other grass fields. Because I still... Same plan. Just basically a reset. Um, these five here, I want to make grass. And then these ones leave as crop fields. So let's go get that wheat off of there. Let me buy that. Yep. All right. I will go and harvest the wheat. And then... Uh, yeah, I'll see you when that's done. Okay, so we ended up with, where does that show? That shows in here, uh, 4,021 liters of wheat, which probably, oh yeah, I've got fluctuations off. All right, so it's always at the best sell price, but I'm going to wait until next month when we harvest our other wheat field and sell it all together at the same time. I want to see now if I can get uh, a front loader on this. I believe you probably can, but I want to see if we can afford a front loader for this. That way we can bale up that wheat and then move it off the field without having to get rid of the silage bales that are in our bale loader. Uh, not what I wanted. That one. 
Do 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 front loader. Fifteen hundred for the attacher. That we can do. How much is an actual front loader though? Do 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 do. Front loaders. Oh yeah, they're not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Um okay. So let me do that. We'll do this. Customize. Front loader. Let's go with the Hauer, because we never use the Hauer. So fifteen hundred for this. Yarp. Okay. And then let's get this delivered. Save us from running around. Where is our Hauer front loaders? What do we got? 120 horsepower, 180 horsepower. What is our tractor? It's 305 horsepower. Oh, yeah. So we'll go with the bigger of the two. It should fit just fine. Boop a doop. No, nothing with that. So we'll buy that. And then we'll just get ourselves a little bale spike. Front loader tools. I want to get the single spike. This one. It's quickie. It's okay. Ooh, we could also grab the grapple. No, we'll just go with the spike. Spike is fine. Front loader. Let's change the tine color. Yeah. Buy that. Boop. All right. So I'm going to get this all hooked up. And then... Oh, they're facing the wrong way. So we'll back up. Oh, what are we going to do? Yes, I'm going to take the baler over, bale up that straw, move those bales off the field, and then I will come get the cultivator, cultivate that. Does that spot need lime, too? Probably, right? Yes, harvested. Ooh, actually, so we'll... I know it needs plowing. It also needs lime. So it needs all the things. So what I'll do is um, bale the straw, and then we'll use the knife roller to mulch what's there, then cultivate, and then I'm going to have to rent that thing again to spread lime, and then... Uh, and then plant grass there. I already got rid of the hedges. I also got rid of the hedges there and rebuilt that. Um, I tried to make it as identical to how I had it before as I could. And I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know. I'm sure if you see major differences other than the color of the tractor, you can let me know in the comments. And oh no. I'm running into stuff all over the place. It's like I forgot how to drive. Oh, I'm going to need to fill this with silage additive again before we bail silage again. So that's good to remember. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's the plan. So I'll get all of that done. Um, probably in time lapse, because that's a lot of field work. But then our grass will be bigger and we already have a start to the week for our next thing so yeah let me get all this done uh i guess 125 is probably fine for these all right yep i will get these done and then i will see you when all that is completed
all right. I think that ought to do it. That's all grass. I didn't mulch it because I realized that when I planted the rest of those grass areas, I didn't mulch because not all those fields that I combined had something on it I could mulch. So at some point, we're going to need to mulch the entire thing. Um, also, I realized that my cultivator didn't get rid of the plowed state, but I'm going to wait until we buy that final field for it and then probably rent a plow, maybe buy a subsoiler, I don't know. We'll see what our money's looking like at that point. And then I'll have to plow and plant um, that area again, but I'll do that when I plow and plant the new air, the new field right next to it so that we're not really wasting a whole bunch of time doing it. Just making it a little bit, a little bit more time to do the new field than it should be. But yeah, that's not bad. That grass field is getting quite large. Next time we need to harvest the wheat and then sell those silage bales and sell all the straw that we get from harvesting the wheat and sell the, all the wheat and then see what we're looking at for money wise because at that point uh, we can figure out what other fields we're going to buy what do you have growing on you right now there is carrots no that's not carrots what's that bright orange one? Oh, it's corn Ooh, so corn would be all right. We could do corn. There's some oats. There is sunflowers. All of that is to the good. That's not potatoes. Sorghum. Okay. So all of those are good to go. I think in 199 there's parsnips. Yeah, so I don't want to do the parsnips. But the rest of those, we'll try to snag... Well, we probably won't get them all this season. But any of those would be okay. I'm going to get them before they're harvestable. 196 is probably the next one. Which is 55,750. So, if we... What do I have right now? $4,000. Yeah, so if we do... All of the things, this isn't going to be ready for like three months now. Our grass areas, but that's ready next time. We have three silage bales. Uh, is this sorghum? Is that what that was? Yes, sorghum is ready. Do, do, do on this map. I cannot read. Where is it? Or sugarcane sorghum uh, in August. So potentially we could harvest the grass in July and have silage ready to sell in the morning in August to bolster our coffers to then um, Harvest the sorghum. Oh, the wheat's not going to be ready next month. That's not ready till July. I don't know why I thought it was going to be ready next month. Hmm. Okay. Well, I may, uh, I may sleep through the next couple of months then if there's nothing going on. And then we'll come back in July when we're ready to harvest the wheat. And then potentially harvest the grass at the same time. And then the next day, sell it and do all that. Yes, do to do to do, do it along, making our farming empire. It's getting larger. That is a, definitely a big field. So that's getting larger. We're gonna end up with all of that, so we can buy the wood, so we can buy more woods, and yes, good, good, good. Very happy about that. And I made sure I saved a couple times. And the save is working. So that's outstanding. No more broken save files, please. Uh, yes, thank you so much for hanging out. Sorry about all the continuity errors from having to rebuild the whole save file. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.